Hey everyone, a very good morning to all of you. Myself Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. So let's begin today's video of current affairs. But before that, the information part for you all is that you can download the PDF of this session via the Telegram channel, and the link of the channel is in description below. So let's begin with our first question, which is about a report of Niti Aayog. So which committee has prepared the designing the future of dispute resolution, the ODR policy plan for India? a uh, report of niti ayog so we have kv kamath panel uh, we have Ra rajiv maharishi committee raja chelag committee uh, rajesh pant expert committee and ak sikri committee so out of these many committees the right answer here is option e ak sikri committee which was formed in 2020 only in order to provide a road map for strengthening the online dispute resolution mechanism in India, okay, dispute res resolution outside the court and that dispute resolution is being held on the online platform. So that was the task, that was the term of reference for this committee. Now this committee has submitted its recommendations which paves the way for scaling up the dispute avoidance containment and resolution on online. So basically the major focus here is to resolve the disputes outside the court. Okay. So basically it's a mediation kind of a thing for which this committee has prepared the report. Basically this mediation will be held online. Now let's have a look at the recommendations that this report has made. And the recommendations are basically on three levels. First one is the structural level at the basic grassroots level. So at this level, the report suggests that actions are needed to increase the digital literacy, improve access to digital infrastructure and train professionals as neutrals to deliver ODR services. Okay, So there needs to be a mediator to mediate between the dissenting parties. This is what this point is saying. Okay, At the behavioral level, the report recommends the adoption of ODR to address disputes involving government departments and ministries as well. Okay, so this point is saying that at the next stage, the ODR, Online Dispute Resolution Mechanism, should be adopted for resolving the disputes that involves the government and its departments. Okay, and at the next regulatory level, the report recommends a soft touch approach to regulate ODR platforms and services. So I hope that these three levels are clear to you. Now this report was a very voluminous report. It contains a lot of recommendations which obviously are not important for our examination. Therefore we can very well skip those recommendations and stick to these very basic the, uh, the recommendations that have been made at the levels. Okay, So we have structural, behavioral and regulatory levels. Moving on to the next question, where is Kazuveli Bird Sanctuary located? Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Andaman and Nicobar are the options. Here the right answer is Tamil Nadu. Now this bird sanctuary was the Kazuveli wetlands and now it has been declared as the bird sanctuary. It is the 16th bird sanctuary of Tamil Nadu. So do remember. Moving on to the next question, which of the following Indian organization has stopped the CIPRI's list of top 100 arms, man arms companies in 2020? So this is basically a list of top 100 arms manufacturing companies in the world in 2020. And from India, uh, the topper is HAL, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Now, first of all, this report has been released by the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. And the top three companies are Lockheed Martin, Raytheon Technologies and Boeing. All of these are located in US only. Now US has a majority chunk in the top 100 com uh, companies list. 41 country companies out of this list are based in US only. Okay, so US has the highest number of country uh, companies which account for 54% of the top 100 total arms sales. Okay, now as far as India is concerned, so HAL is the topper, the global rank of this company is 42. Then we have Ordnance Factory Board, obviously it has been dismantled into seven organizations and guys, if you have paid attention to this thing that after its dismantling, this organization remains in the news, okay? 
so therefore it is your responsibility to cover the new surrounding that dismantling of this board into seven psus now the rank of this organization is 60 then we have bharat electronics limited the global rank is 66 the combined arms sales by the three organizations of india has increased by 1.7% in 2020 in comparison to 2019. So these were the facts from this report. Next question is, which bank has announced to buy a 9% stake in open network for digital commerce? Bank of Baroda, State Bank of India, Canada Bank, Punjab National Bank, Bank of Maharashtra. So here the right answer is Punjab National Bank that has uh, announced to become the sponsor um the promoter of this bank okay so it is going to buy a nine percent stake now what is this open network network for digital commerce right now it is just a plan of the ministry of commerce that we will create an open network where all the uh all the merchants and retail outlets would be able to uh, on board okay so basically this is a plan for onboarding the merchants the retailers out there so that they can also benefit from the increasing digitalization because now we see that in the retail market even right now also flipkart and amazon are gathering are sharing a major chunk of the market and in order to benefit the small retailers in india to fight against these global giants this plan is being worked upon now it is only just a plan and the legalities and technicalities but whatever are there are still considered by the government okay so this punjab national bank has announced to invest this much percentage in this in this initiative next question is which bank has signed an agreement with usha international limited for empowering women entrepreneurs by providing financial assistance so guys here bank of baroda union bank of india central bank of india indian bank and state bank of india are in the options the right answer here is state bank of india so sbi has partnered with this usha international limited for empowering women entrepreneurs in the rural areas by giving them financial assistance so this is a first of its kind collaboration between these two organizations for empowering the women this collaboration has been named as nav chetana okay so nav chetana is the initiative or the collaboration between SBI and Usha International Limited, do remember. Okay. Now, this Usha International Limited has already been providing support to women via its Usha Silai schools, which are already there across the country. So these schools basically help the women in uh, in providing them, uh, in getting them training. Okay. Next question is. For which state has India signed a loan agreement with ADB for improving the drinking water supply and citywide inclusive sanitation services? Uttarakhand, Tripura, Assam, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab are in the options. The right answer here is Uttarakhand. So basically, this loan agreement has been signed between India, Asian Development Bank, and Uttarakhand government for establishing the water supply, drinking water supply and inclusive sanitation services in two cities of the state. So here, not the entire state is in focus, only two cities, Dehradun and Nenital. Okay, so in these two cities, drinking water supply and sanitation services will be provided at, under this loan agreement. Okay, so we have drinking water supply in Dehradun and this sanitation services in Nenital. Next question is, who has received the Men's Ballon, uh, Ballon d'Or Award? So basically, this is an award given in the field of football. Okay. Now, who has won this award for the year 2021? It is Lionel Messi. Which country does he belong? This is your question. Mention it in the comment section. Okay. Now, this is basically, this means the golden ball. And these awards are given by France Football Magazine. Now, the men's award has been won by Lionel Messi, who plays for this football club, Paris Saint Germain. Women's Wala has been won by Alexia. She, uh, she plays for Barcelona. Striker of the Year has been won by Robert 
Lewandowski, Bayern Munich is the uh, football club for which he plays. Copa Trophy, which is given for best player under 21, has been given to Pedri, who plays for Barcelona. Yachin Trophy has been given to this person, uh, and she plays for PSG. Uh, club of the Year has been given to Chelsea Football Club. So these are the awards. Now the most important awards, award categories are this one this one and this one okay so these three in my opinion are the most important categories from where you can expect a question in your examination others are not very important because it has been seen that uh, whenever the awards particularly in this uh, sports category are asked in the examination they usually ask the most prominent awards okay so here the most prominent are the men's women's and the striker of the year and this one is particularly because this person has won this award okay so now guys here this session ends i hope that you have liked the session and if you have liked the content provided by me then do subscribe the channel like this video and share it among your friends thank you so much